Okay, really quick, I'm going to let this play through at full speed. Eddie has sent in a clean poll. He's one of our remote weightlifters that would like kind of a breakdown or some information on how to improve. Okay, so as you can see there, boom, full speed clean poll. The question Eddie had sent was um, to keep his hips from popping up before the initiation of that lift. Okay, so there's two things you can do here, Eddie, to be concise. You can start your start position a little bit higher because that's where you're finding tension anyway. So pulling those butt cheeks up a little bit higher in your start position is going to help you get in a position where you can find tension before leaving the floor. That might help alleviate some of that butt pop that you don't like. Um, although there is very elite weightlifters that start low, have the butt raise until they find tension, just like you do, and then the beginning of it go. And that's kind of a, what I would just call a, dy a dynamic start or first pull. Um, what I w would also like you to focus on here is picking one of those two, either being okay with it or picking to make that change to start the start position a little higher, right? But as you come through, you can see you actually maintain a pretty good start position because what I'm looking at here is where's the knees, hips, shoulders, and you still have that very good position that we're looking for. So there's not necessarily thing, anything wrong with this position right here, even though your hips are rising to it. Um, what we want to address is these elbows. So it looks like you're making up for some either strength in the upper back. Um, that's going to be my first guess. And you're having a lot of tension in the arms. So what we want to look to do is starting to straighten these arms out best you can, more like straps, getting more tension through the upper back and holding there. Um, and kind of seeing what happens there with that lift and seeing how that feels, that should allow you to use your big muscles first rather than pulling so aggressively with your arms. Um, I will note that they do stay pretty solid on the bend the whole time, um, which means you're not really trying to pull the bar any higher with your arms, so some lifters get away with this as well. But what we could look at is playing around with getting those arms straight, uh, more engagement in the upper back, like I said, and letting the big muscles work first. Um, a thing to note here is as you begin to work on this, you might find yourself hitting lower than normal with straight arms. So there's two things you can do. Um, you can either, you know, really make sure you're focused on keeping that upper back tight or that might help, or you might have to actually widen your grip a little bit on the barbell to allow you more room to straighten those arms out and still hit as high as you are right now. Um, those are a couple things to work on. I wouldn't really so much worry about the hips rising. If it doesn't feel comfortable, then just start higher with your hips, which might not feel as strong, but take that dynamic part out of it, make it more of a stable start, and uh, let's figure out a way to get these elbows a little straighter, okay? So I hope that helps you. I hope others that are watching this um, can fix a couple things as well, especially if they are having the same types of issue. Thanks.